The white stork is a long-distance migrant, wintering in Africa from tropical sub-Sahara Africa to as far south as southern Africa. It avoids crossing the Mediterranean Sea because the air thermals on which it depends for soaring do not form over water. The marabou stork is only found in Africa south of Sahara. The marabou stork is the largest of all the stork and reaches a height of around one and a half meters and can weigh up to nine kilograms. The woodland's kingfisher. For most people throughout certain places in Africa, it is a great indication of the arrival of summer. The European roller. This is also also a migratory bird. It is the only member of the roller family to breed in Europe. The Birchall starling is native to dry and messic woodlands of the savannas of southern Africa. Part of the same family, the Cape Glossy starling, is a common bird that is seen throughout southern Africa in both wilderness and residential areas. The grey go-away bird, previously known as the grey luri, is a very vocal and common bird of the southern Afrotropics. Even Though their flight is rather slow and labored, they can cover quite long distances. The ground hornbill is the largest species of hornbill worldwide. One of two species of ground hornbills and both are found solely within Africa. The southern ground hornbill is carnivorous and mostly hunts on the ground. This is where they find the majority of their food. Whereas the southern red-billed hornbills are omnivorous, eating insects, fruits, and seeds, and the southern yellow-billed hornbill mostly eats arthropods, particularly termites, beetles, larvae, grasshoppers, and caterpillars. This bird's unique call is often a warning in the bush that there may be a predator around. You can also understand why it is called the rattling cysticola. The lesser mass weaver is found in eastern, southeastern, and southern Africa and is commonly parasitized by the Dedrix cuckoo. They build their nest in large colonies alongside the village weavers. Sometimes referred to as the rain bird, the Birchall's cuckoo's call is very distinctive, which some say resembles water pouring from a bottle. These birds are most vocal in the breeding season, and a couple may call in duet, or several birds may call in concert. The red-backed shrike breeding range stretches from Western Europe east to Central Russia, and it only rarely occurs in the British Isles. It is a migratory bird and winters in western areas of tropical Africa. A jumping dancing bird, the red crested Quran is absolutely fascinating to watch, especially during breeding season, as the way a male attracts females is by flying high into the air and dropping back down at a rapid pace after it has done a clicking dance. The blacksmith lapwing's name is derived from the repeated metallic like ding 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 call which resembles a blacksmith hammer striking an anvil. These birds are mostly always found along wetlands, rivers and dams. Can you tell us the name of this long-legged predatory wading bird? Answer our poll in the top right hand corner. The helmeted guinea fowl is a bird that is native to Africa. They are gregarious birds forming flocks outside of the breeding season, typically about 25 birds, and also roost communally. They make loud, harsh calls when disturbed, so are always a great indication of predators in the area. The common ostrich is a flightless bird and the largest living species of bird that also lays the largest egg of any living bird. The male and female differ in color, mostly black, with primary white feathers and a white tail, where the females are grayish brown in color. The largest flying bird native to Africa, the Cori Bustard, is a ground-dwelling bird and an opportunistic omnivore. These birds spend most of their time on the ground. The Cori Bustard's breeding is closely tied to rainfall and in years that there has been a drought the breeding may be greatly reduced or not even take place. The female does all the brooding behavior without the help of the male and she stays on the nest 98% of the time rarely eating and never drinking. How's that 
for commitment. Great guys, if you enjoyed that uh, little video, please hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more of the same kind. Enjoy the day guys. Heads up from the low felt in the African bush.